Alrighty, we've run some tests with the MY1020 48 volt 1000 watt motor. First with the Alpha Wheels speed controller. Then with the TD Pro speed controller. Now we're going to get some readings with just our solenoid or beefy switch. I have the motor unhooked for a minute. We'll do a solenoid test. Sounds like it works to me. Against the wall test for the 48 volt MY1020. Just a solenoid or beefy switch as Sid would call it. And a switch. We're going to do a amp test and see what the amp, max amp draw is. Got e lemonade out for one more test run with the MY 1020 48 volt 1000 watt motor. This test is just with straight with a solenoid. So just batteries, solenoid, and a motor. And a switch, of course. So I've let our motor cool off about five or 10 minutes since our against the wall test. And our batteries seem to have recovered a bit. We're at 52.1 volts. So we'll roll out into the street and get some readings with just a beefy switch. Test one, again. If you switch, test two. Beefy switch, test three. Just testing it. That was fun. Our meter showing our batteries at 51.3 volts. Tires a bit warm. Oh yeah, that motor's good and warm. Wow. Almost too hot to the touch. I can hold on to the sides. It's good and hot. That end bell is really hot. Not the front so much, but that back. Well, that concludes our tests of the MY1020 48 volt 1000 watt motor.